hello friend today we have to discuss the carrier current protection for the transmission line this type of protection is used for the protection of transmission line the carrier current of frequency range 30 kilohertz to the 200 kilohertz in usa is used and 80 kilohertz to 500 kilohertz in uk are transmitted and received through the transmission line for the protection purpose this is the carrier current protection of transmission line see in the image at each end of the transmission line is provided with identical carrier current equipment consisting of transmitter receiver line tuning unit master oscillator power amplifier etc elements then we have to discuss the different elements present in the carrier current equipment first one is the coupling capacitor the carrier equipment is connected to the transmission line through the coupling capacitor which having some capacitance such that it offers low reactance to the carrier frequency but high reactance to the power frequency thus coupling capacitor allows carrier frequency signal to enter to the carrier equipment but does not allow 50 hertz power frequency current enter into the carrier current equipment this is the function of coupling capacitor then second one is the line trap see in the image it is inserted between the bus bar and connection of the coupling capacitor to the line it is parallel tuned circuit of L and C it has low impedance to the 50 hertz signal and high impedance to the carrier frequency this unit prevents the high frequency signal from entering the neighboring line and the carrier current flow in only in the protected line then third element is the transmitter whenever the voltage of positive polarity is impressed on the control circuit of transmitter it generates the high frequency output voltage and this out output voltage is impressed between one phase conductor of the transmission line and the earth fourth element is the receiver receiver receives a carrier current from its local transmitter as well as from transmitter at the distant end of the transmission line and the receiver converts the carrier current into dc voltage this dc voltage is used for the operation of relay the transmission line is protected by flowing the carrier current through the transmission line the second method for the protection of transmission line is phase comparison carrier current protection in the phase comparison method compares the phase relation between current entering in the protected zone and current leaving the protected zone the magnitude of current is not compared here and in the phase comparison provides only main protection see in the image the current is taken from the sending end through the ct secondaries and it will be given to the comparator through the summation and from the receiving end you have to take the signal and comparator takes these two signals and compares the phase difference if the phase difference is occurs then it gives the signal to the relay Thank you friend, this is the phase comparison circuit for protection of transmission line. Thank you.